<laughs> the Muddy Pig Pottery Wells Studio is a sister studio to the Painted Pig, which has been in business here in Central Arkansas for 15 years. This just opened at the Pleasant Ridge Town Center, and today we are going to find out how to make pottery. I'm here with owner Allie and instructor Emily, and what is the first thing that we need to know before we start this class? Let's get some aprons on because we're going to get a little bit muddy. Ooh, we're going to get muddy? Okay, this sounds like it's going to be fun. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm an instructor here at the Muddy Pig, and I'm going to show you the basic steps on how to throw. So first, you're going to take your ball of clay. You're going to smack it down into the center of your wheel. You want to be, you want it to be as close to the center as possible. Mine's like a big blob. Is that okay? I flamed it too hard. <laughs> so your first step is going to be to cone it up. So you're going to start at the base. You're going to use these parts of your hands to push into the clay. Kind of wrap your fingers around it and slowly bring your hands up. <laughs> I don't know that I'm doing it right. Is it looking wobbly still? So just make sure to keep your hands really firm. Your hands move the clay, you don't let the clay move you. So once you feel like your clay is centered, you're gonna put your hands on it and it's not going to wobble. <laughs> this part makes me nervous, I'm afraid it's gonna go. <laughs> My sponge is gonna be on the outside, fingers on the inside. I'm gonna put pressure on the clay and slowly pull it up. Oh, wow. Oh, it changes so quickly. I think the bottom just came off. <laughs> so after you create your pottery, you get to choose what color you want it to be. Correct. Yes, we'll bring you over here to the glaze bar and then you can pick your favorite two pieces to, to glaze and fire. We do offer eight week classes where we would teach you all of the steps from making it and then to trimming your own pieces and how to glaze it and, and all of that. Okay guys, so this is almost my finished project. What happens next, Allie? So we're gonna let it dry, and then one of our staff is going to trim it so that it has a nice professional foot on it, and then it kind of cleans up any extra snags or edges. And then, um, and then when it's dry enough, we're gonna put it in the kiln and fire it to over 2,000 degrees. And then after it comes out, we'll glaze it and then fire it again. All right, so when do I pick it up, Emily? Um, in about three to four weeks. Okay, I'm excited. I'll have to show the final product on the show. I can't wait to see it all finished. We got to pick our colors out before we left. Yeah, we did. What'd you, you picked like a blue. Yeah, like my a, house yeah. has a lot of navy in it, yeah. so I picked something I thought could, you know, I could display. Yeah. Even though the reason it has all of those little curvy <laughs> edges is because it started getting really thin on one side and kind of collapsing. It's a lot harder than it looks, though. Like you see the movie Ghost, and you know we <laughs> laugh, and like you see all like they're in shows and stuff, and they're like, oh, that looks so much fun. It's a lot of fun, but it's really not. I mean, it's not easy, no. but they make it simple for you like she takes you step by step and will really tell you what you need to do to make it look really good and I mean it it's did. your thing so you can make it look however you want. Right yeah and it it really didn't take long this is a time lapse of, of what we did after we were finished I was like wait we're already done. I know. Like, <laughs> um, but I, yeah I'd like to go back and do it again now that I've kind of I understand what we yeah. were doing yeah I would like to do it again I yeah. feel like I, I kind of have have it down a little more bit better. The more you practice, the better you get, I think. So yeah. we definitely got to go back. That was really fun. And you got to do it too. So we'll, we'll have to go get them uh, yeah. here in a few weeks and bring them on the show to show what, I'm excited. what it turned out like. I know I can't wait. <laughs>